and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shop, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about answers to stop chronic pain, even after your doctor says there is no cure. Right. And we're also talking about no medication here, right? Right, right. Uh, yeah, we've got answers for people who suffer from chronic pain. It could be after surgery, fibromyalgia, uh, RA, rheumatoid arthritis. All these things are talked about. And we're going to give you some possible solutions for this with some really good uh, clinical and research uh, behind it. And plus, it's it's not harmful, that's for sure. Right. right? I yep. mean, if it yep. hurts, you don't do it. I mean, we're not going right. to push yep. back and pain. Yep. By the way, if you're new to our oh. channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. No, also, no. go to Bob and Rabbit uh, and go to the giveaway section. We're always giving something away, but today we're on a one day hiatus. Oh, check it out tomorrow. We'll be giving something away. I think we're giving away a mattress tomorrow. Well, this is a Saturday night. Eh? Yeah, this is Ooh. Saturday night. So, um, It'll also be on Facebook. You can go to Facebook. There It'll you be go. pinned to the top of the page. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. And Bob and Brad have a what? Podcast now. Yes. With, with some outstanding. Danny, Danny inter people being interviewed. Yeah, yeah. Well, leaders, not, not leaders in their field. Right. Okay, so let's get into this, Bob, because people, I'm sure, are interested. Uh, so this is this whole. Uh, video is revolving around a book written by Amanda Oswald, who was, I don't know if you could say a victim, but she was suffering from chronic pain for a number of years. And then she uh, got into this, her treatment, sure. which is actually a self-treatment. You don't have to go to anybody else. And she explains it in the book. Um, and there's research now that's coming up in the last few years that's supporting this more and more. And oh, Go ahead. Uh, I was going to read the name. Yep. That's a living pain free, healing chronic pain with myofascial release. Right. Right. Yeah. And myofascial release, that term has been around for, for years. For years. Right. But there hasn't been a lot of research. And she's very involved with this uh, in the UK. Uh, she's it's really come to the forefront. Now. Right. I mean, it's, it's being recognized more and more by the mainstream. Right. Well, mainstream as far as US, United States, yeah. maybe the Western. Yeah. But uh, one way or another, I think it's, uh, and it, we were just talking how it relates to other treatments that we have success with. Right. It's not way out there. It's not right. a, a, a weird not guru a thing. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I suppose we should get into some of the, the treatments. Yeah, I'd want right. to show some examples. Right. But right. I really, we're going to show you examples, but if you really want to, and you do have chronic pain, uh, you're going to need to get the book. Sure. Because uh, there's, and sit down and read it, which if you're, you know, in chronic pain and you want to have a strong desire, it's no big deal. It's just. Right. Uh, it's not that expensive, particularly compared to. Yeah, we can't we can't do it justice here. I mean, right, but we can video. give you a, a good taste right. of it. Uh, so let's go into this. Oh, actually, she was. I was going to mention she was uh, very active in her younger years with running, at, and I don't remember the sport that she was in. Um, it was a. Uh, it was a sport in the UK that sure. we don't do much here. But anyways, repetitive motion. She got so painful she she couldn't do her sports anymore, and then she got into this to. Release that was it cricket? No, <laughs> I think it might have been rugby. Rugby would be. I'm sorry, Amanda, yeah. if I'm if I'm yeah. uh, getting that wrong. Uh, anyways, what we need to do is, she says, there's three different categories that sure. she separates the book for the self treatment part, and she goes through it very well. Uh, general stretches. I'm gonna. I picked one of those out. We're gonna go through that. The next one is. Uh, specific, specific stretches. stretches, and the other one is doing myofascial using these balls. Sure, which is you know we've done a lot yeah, of videos. Balls, right? So, so anyways, let's start with the first one. So general stretches, and she suggests you really need to do this in a quiet atmosphere uh, where you can relax. You're going to think about your breathing. All these things we talked breathing about. Breathing is a big part of it. Exactly. And it's a postural exercise, which is well, which she is very big on as well. Posture, right. posture, posture is going to make a big difference in your uh, pain. So she recommends taking a towel roll, not like this. This is a short one. She a towel roll that a real long one, the length like a beach towel. Yep, and you roll it up, uh, or she suggests using a foam roll. A foam roll. I just brought this because I really think 
this works quite a bit better. Sure. But you don't have to go out and purchase one. You can use a towel. Yeah. Um, and and if you like it, you can eventually buy one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, can I, should I? Yeah. Oh, can you, you go down to the floor? floor? Yeah, because you really, you're not going to do this on your bed. You're going to do it on a, a floor. And uh, now there's different densities. I would really suggest that you get a softer one uh, yeah. because it's more comfortable. It, you know, you could use the, the black ones, which are the hardest, but um, this is much more comfortable in my opinion. Yeah, this is the one from OPG oh. View. It's a softer, and it's a lighter blue. Yeah. Than so you just lay here, allow your shoulders to relax, which is going to stretch out your pecs a little bit. Uh, you can put your hands here or here, whatever is comfortable. Um, and you're just going to hang out in that quiet atmosphere, relax. And it's going to allow – some people may have problems getting their head right. back. If you're so tight that your head – is not hit this comfortably, it's uncomfortable or doesn't touch, uh, then you're gonna wanna actually put a, a little pillow in there. Sure. Or fold up a towel and eventually take that out as your posture improves. He's actually, they do sell a little attachment to it. Yeah, they? we used to have that around yeah. here. No apologize. OPT. Oh, here it is, I got it. Oh yeah, why don't you get that? Cause it is pretty handy. Um, so, and she's suggesting, you know, you're gonna lay here 10 to 15 minutes. So you may not tolerate that at first, but you'll get to that, you know, with with time. Uh, you know, do these daily. You know, you, know, you aren't going to lie here for, for 10 to 15 I minutes I might right take now. a nap. <laughs> but anyways, there right. we go. You know, that really uh, is stretching a lot of things. Uh, you may not realize, but it's stretching the neck extensors. Yeah. You're getting down there. It's stretching the chest muscles and pulling them out. You know, so you're, you're in a good posture. Right, right. So. And actually the next specific stretch does relate to the shoulder posture. Okay. And it's going to be a stretching. If you're tight here, you have in pain the pectoralis. in the pecs. Sure. Um, now, when Major you do minor. this kind of a stretch, it's a little different than this. You're not going to hold it for 10 to 15 minutes and sure. relax. You are going to relax, have a quiet atmosphere. Why don't you come over here and I'm going to stretch here. Now, she suggests doing it in a doorway, which we like that too, but right. we don't have a convenient doorway to video. But you would put your, if this was the doorway coming out and I, here I'm out the door, I'm in the door, here's the wall, the door opens up that way, everyone's got a good imagination. I'm gonna pull my arm here and I'm gonna rotate and lean forward and I can feel that stretch there. Now this is where she's very specific. You need to hold that stretch for a 90 seconds to two minutes. Uh, right. Right. And the reason is, is we're talking about myofascia, by the way. We should have explained that earlier. That wasn't my intent. The fascia is a tissue that kind of wraps your whole body and it's between your muscles and your skin. And it's in three layers. And if the fascia is meant to slide back and forth so it's smooth, so you have good range of motion, you have good motion in that fascia, but it binds down like after surgery. Quite often. Scar tissue gets in that yes. fascia. Uh, if you don't have a lot of motion. Immobility. Right. Yep. Continuous motion that's particularly like jogging. If that, if that's all you do is jog, right. there's a good potential. So we want to break that fascia apart. And it takes 90 seconds to two minutes to do that. And that's what the research research is showing. Oh, and it feels good. I, I'd like to stay here, but I don't want to bore you. And most people, it's, it's difficult for them to, you know, they're stretching before they run or whatever. They, they don't want to sit there. You don't sit there that long. No, I, I don't. <laughs> well, now I do my exercise before I run, so I'm, I'm improving. Sure. Yeah I'm, good. yeah. I'm getting better as I age. The other one is if this is the door she's suggesting put both at arms the same time. and do them both at the same time. Uh, and she has a, a quite a number of those specific she stretches. Specific for different stretches for different parts of the body. I think. Exactly, right. Bob. Yep. yep. Uh, and the last one, which I like this, I'm going to do it on this. The ball? Yep. And she is specific. Now, they she has balls that you can buy right from her in the, in the book. And... Uh, I, I actually have these, so they're the same, basically the same ball. She says it's important that you use a smooth ball, which sometimes we recommend a bumpy ball. But she says for the myofascia, you should have a smooth ball really? and, and one that you can inflate. Um, and the reason is, is if it's uncomfortable for you or it's too hard, then you let some air out. If it's not Are these firm the enough. same ball? Yeah, they and are. That, and so this one's inflated more. Exactly. Good. Good point, Bob. That's the Franklin Method ball, I guess, uh, from OPTP. Yep, so. yep. Um, so 
Here we go. Now, normally I would inflate both of these to the same sure. diameter for this next stretch, but this is a really nice stretch for those people who have that chronic pain in the head, maybe headaches associated with it, pain going down into their shoulder blades or possibly even into their arms. Uh, you can take this. Um, uh, I guess I can go down to the floor sure, because you sure. would not do this in right. your bed. It can't be done in the bed. Yeah, you need a you know carpeted solid. floor would be ideal. Again, remember the balls would be the same. And what I'm going to do, it's kind of like for that neck hump or that dowager's hump. It may help with that too. You're going to position those balls on each side of the spine, at about C7 or just below where the neck contacts the shoulders, and, and then you adjust yourself like for me right there. Now. I can tell the, the ball on the right that's bigger would be the diameter I need. Sure. The other one's too small uh, and it's too soft too. But, you know, and then you're just going to lay here. Actually, this feels quite good. You know, this is a wonderful thing. So, again, here you're going to go for a number of minutes, you know. Okay. Sure. And so, more than the 90 seconds to right. two minutes. Yeah, because this isn't necessarily a stretch. Um, then, let me go off of that. You can roll back and forth. And she, like I say, you have problem on your wrist. I did want to show this where, see now that's a little too firm for that. I'm going to go with this one. And you know, you're just rolling back and forth. You can do this for shin splints. She shows uh, wrist pain, elbow pain, uh, pretty much all over the body with the balls too. Sure. It, it covers a, it's a complete uh, system. So did you want to talk about the IT band, Brad? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll the try. IT band is a band that runs right along your hip, all the way, it even crosses the knee. Yep. So this, it's right where the stripes are. Yep, right here. and it attaches to the tensor fascia lata on right. one side here, yep. and down onto the fibula, I believe, right? And, uh, yeah, it, it, it crosses the knee joint, yeah. yeah. So there's a muscle belly of it up here, but most of it is, is a wide tendon, but that tendon can be a source of pain, particularly for uh, active people running and whatnot. I, I just read some s stuff on this, Brad, Ooh. and there's no way you can stretch that tendon. It, you, there's no way you can stretch that tendon. It, it, you can lift a car with it, but you can, it can get a heat down. Sure. So just like what you're talking about, the uh, fascia. Yep. And so it is good to roll on it. Yeah. I mean, some people say, no, it, you, you can't stretch it. So why are you rolling on it? It can get a heat down. So you, you can do just as well. And I've read this a couple of times. Now. Sure. Uh, that um, it, it's good for it. Well, I hate to say this, Bob, but about 20 years ago when I was a young therapist and people would talk about stretching your IT band, I thought the same thing. It's like, you know, because we that's just had the cadavers band. apart. Yeah. It's like, is that, that, that's not going to stretch. It's a ligament. You know, yeah, and you're right. going to try and stretch it with a, you know, exactly. but this makes a lot more sense. It does. To get into there. So and it, um, and he's down. So, wow. Bob, I, I'm really uh, happy with, uh, Amanda's book, and I think again, living uh, pain free. Right, and Amanda Oswald. Oswald, yeah. All right, thanks. Thanks for sending us your book. Thank you, Amanda.